hello good day guys you're welcome again to my channel this is joshua the designer and i have come again to give you an amazing tutorial that will help you scale up your work as touching autocad software right so if you're making contact with my channel for the first time i would encourage that you like this video subscribe to this channel and this is a means to encourage us to always give you amazing content time after time again again so and um today i'll be showing you how to plot multiple pages to pdf in autocad um we have received several feedbacks and these questions have been coming up from our subscribers asking how do we plot multiple pages to pdf in autocad and i'll be showing you how to go about that in simple steps right so this is uh, a autocad drawings i have several drawings here this is slab detail this is a foundation layout i have the beam this is the detail also i have the staircase i have a whole lot in this drawing right so and i want to print all of these together into a particular file without having to create several drawing then combine again so i want to batch plot all of these that is i want to plot every one of these at the same time into a single file and um, that's what we want to do and i believe that's what our subscriber who asks these questions intend to do right so i'll be doing that in a very few steps and i'll be showing you how we go about it right so what you want to do first having prepared all your drawings that you want to print is to enter batch plot batch plot that's batch plot then on entering that batch plot command it brings all the available pages that you have in this job it brings it to you and if per eventual you have other pages in other projects that you want to join with this that is not present in this particular autocad drawing that is opened you might want to use this button which is add sheet when you click it it automatically takes you to a place where you can find the job that you're looking for so you might want to add any other project that you feel you want to batch plot together with this one in progress so if you do not have any you don't need to go through this step but if you do just click in and press select and it will add whatever thing that you that you want so it's already added this one for me it has added this one for me right now so but because i don't necessarily need it for now so i might want to take it off right so now i did something that i would like to show you if you do not want any of these drawings to print alongside with your batch plot you use this the same way we use this first one to add sheet we can also remove sheets so for example i want to remove this i click this it disappears right for example if i don't need this i click this it disappears just like that now another function is that you can rearrange this to suit what you want for example if i want to shift this last one to the first then having click it this symbol now shows uh, an upward movement for your file so you can keep moving it till you are where exactly fits your job you can do that and also you can choose to bring down or bring up so the next one is to move sheet down the first one is to move sheet up while the next one is to move sheet down so that's exactly how to go about that now also to this place so you might want to publish to dwf dwfx you might also want to publish to pdf which is exactly what i've come to show show you and also we have publish options here now this up publish options can give you the um, opportunity to choose the folder with which you want to save your file having plotted 
so you might want to browse it further so i'm keeping mine in the document folder so i have that already and having done all of these things we can now publish so let's see what becomes of this process so i click publish and it asks you which name do you want to put there so let us put for now let's put publish so that we'll be able to have that publish so i select now do you want to save the current list of sheets if you want to save it for this current thing you're doing you click yes if you do not you click no so for me i don't know what now so now this is a kind of process that can continue in the background so whether you close it or not it continues so it permits you to close now but once you close you can um, always check the progress here so you see the symbol where my cursor is is showing to us that the publish process is on you can see the printer sign is um, now moving right so the publish process is on when it's done it notifies us then we get to check our file now this also take a little time to to roll probably a minute or two right so you need to be patient in that line and also to remind if you're making contact with my channel for the first time i am joshua the designer i create amazing content on structural engineering on drafting designs at large right with the aim of making you better right in in all so i'd like that you like my video subscribe to this channel so that you can catch up first hand on all my releases yes so the plot and publish job is complete as you can see now we can go ahead and check what we have now now we know where we saved it which is document and we saved it as publish so we want to look for publish which is this now opening this now let's see what we have you see we have structural drawings we have the columns we have the slab details we have the beams in one file so this is exactly how to go about your batch plots from autocad directly to pdf right so if there's any questions anything you want to know as touching this particular video or more you can always use the comment section i'll be there to attend to any question that you have and that you need to get better thank you very much for staying around like this video subscribe to this channel i am joshua the designer we'll see you in the next tutorial bye